As much as I'd like to live in a world where I can just leave my door open when I go out, locks are an integral part of society to keep places safe. But have you ever wondered how old the concept of a lock actually is? This is a model of the world's oldest known locking device and in this video we're going to see how it works and you can even create one of your own. Let's get started. This is a model of an Assyrian pin lock, the oldest known examples of a locking device ever found. Physical examples of this locking device were found in the ruins of the Assyrian palace of Khorazabad, I think I'm pronouncing that right, located in what is now modern day Iraq. Archaeologists date the examples they found back to 704 BC, however variations of this design are thought to have been used as early as 2000 BC. They're often elaborate in design as you can see with this recreation. This model was designed in Fusion 360 and created on the Cetus Mark II 3D printer using a variety of PLAs and although my design is not flourished in any way, it's purely here to demonstrate the concept with the front of the lock portion cut away. Despite being so ancient, this mechanism still has some similar features to modern day locks. So let's take a closer look. The lock has four main components, the lock body, the bolt, the pins, and the key, which is this thing. It kind of looks like a uh, toothbrush. The bolt is positioned horizontally so you can insert the key from the side, not the front. And the operation is basic, but pretty darn ingenious. The key has prongs, which are spaced exactly to line up with the pins. You insert it and it allows the pins to move up just out of the way and the bolt to unlock. It's also important to note that this cutaway, as I mentioned, is only for the model. Actual locks had only the thin opening here, which made them actually pretty secure. This is the first version I developed based off the drawings, artifacts, photos, and reconstructions that I came across. And from what I could see in these drawings, the pins were lined up, which means during operation, the key actually needs to be in to relock the device. Otherwise you put the, the bolt back in and it can get stuck in the wrong holes. So while this model works great to show the mechanism, I felt it left a lot to be desired. So I set out to find a way how to improve it. And this is version two. Instead of having inline pins, this version has a network of five pins spaced in such a way that none run collinearly with the direction of the bolt. This design isn't as satisfying to see in operation, but it is satisfying to use. Let me demonstrate. So basically you insert the key as before and put it in place here. It will then position above the pins and allow you to unlock it. But because none of these pins are collinear with the direction of the bolt, you can actually just slide the bolt back in. There's a chamfer to move the pins out of the way and they all just snap back in place when the bolt is fully inserted. Now, admittedly, my design does use dovetail uh, joints to actually guide the bolt into place, which would have been very difficult to produce back then. But personally, there's nothing more satisfying than a blend of ancient, old and modern technology in the same object. And I have to admit, it does make a pretty awesome toy to fidget with. Didn't say spinner, except just then. Okay, so if this lock is so great, why don't we see it anymore? Well, there was actually documented evidence of almost identical designs still being in use in Egypt up to and most likely beyond the 18th century. However, yeah, there's some pretty serious downsides to this design. Firstly, they're originally crafted from wood, which means they had delicate dowel pins, which could be smashed, and the whole thing could just be broken off the doors themselves if someone really wanted to force themselves in. Also, the mechanism is hugely bulky, space inefficient, and compared to modern designs, especially when you consider the key, like who would want to carry around a bunch of these wooden toothbrushes? Yeah, and also we can't talk about locks without talking about lock picking. So how do you defeat this design? Well, pretty easily. The first obvious attack is to just turn it upside down and let the pins fall out. Obviously you can't do that with a huge wooden door, but if you're thinking of using this design on something that was small and portable, like a chest, you might want to plan accordingly. I did sort of start drafting up a design using springs on the pins, but they're a bit too stiff and it wouldn't really work, but that's definitely something you could experiment with in future if you want to make it impervious to that attack. The lock is also really easy to pick if you have the right tool. You just need to put light pressure in the direction it travels and poke each pin up one at a time. And this means that there'll be one pin at a time with pressure on it. Um, and then eventually it just pops free. 
So if you're interested in printing one of these though for yourself, you can find both versions linked here and in the video description. The basic design is available for anyone free to download and I have put a small price tag on the more complicated one which goes back into supporting the channel. So if you found this kind of thing interesting, I also recommend checking out the resources that I've been using. I've linked them in the video description. It's really interesting that I came across while researching this pin lock. Also I've removed Assyrian from the model because there's conflicting reports as to where it actually originated from. But again, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Oh, and a big thanks to my dad who suggested making this video idea. Initially, I told him it was dumb. Yeah, I'm a horrible son. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you found it interesting. I would love to see this simple locking mechanism inspire your creativity and feature in some funky lockable 3D prints in future. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future projects like this. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Happy printing, guys. Bye. Rockets into deep space. He has placed satellites into orbit.